All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to give you an update on Vasily Lomachenko trying to get himself back into the ring with Devin Haney by forcing a mandatory title fight and a mandatory rematch with Vasily Lomachenko. Now, before I get into that, though, let me say what's up to y'all. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys to all the support y'all give to the channel. But let's get this out here because Aegis Clemus, who is the manager for Vasily Lomachenko and many of the other, many other Eastern European fighters, sent a series of letters out today, one to the IBF, one to the WBC, one to the WBO, and one to the WBA. And in these notes, they say that this past Saturday in Las Vegas, Vasily Lomachenko challenged undisputed lightweight champion Devin Haney in Las Vegas. The crowd at the MGM and the boxing world reacted to condemn what it believes to be an unfair and unjust decision that denied Lomachenko his rightful victory and his lifelong goal of being an undisputed champion of the world. As Team Loma prepares to appeal the decision, and in light of the highly controversial outcome of the bout, on behalf of Vasily Lomachenko, I ask the IBF, and they do it for the WBC and the WBA and the WBO, that I ask that the IBF will rank Loma as the number one and recognize him as the mandatory contender for the title in the lightweight division. Loma was denied his victory in the ring on Saturday, and he deserves the opportunity to be ranked as number one and to get another chance of realizing his goal as soon as possible. Again, he moves on and he sends, displays it, a note sent to the WBC, which says, as Team Loma prepares to appeal its decision in light of the highly controversial outcome of the bout and on behalf of Lomachenko, I ask that the WBC keep Loma as a number one and recognize him as the mandatory challenger, contender. Also does this for the WBO and sends it to President Valcarcel uh, Var and the members of the rating community and a committee, and he does it with the WBA. As it says, and this is going to be the most interesting one because the mandatory in this particular instant would be for Gervonta Davis. As Team Loma prepares an appeal of the decision and in light of the controversial outcome of the bout, on behalf of Lomachenko, I ask the WBA to rank him as number one and recognize him as the mandatory challenger. For the title in the lightweight division, Loma was denied the victory in the ring and deserves the opportunity to be ranked number one and get another chance of realizing his goals as soon as possible. So even here... He's clearly not talking about Gervonta Davis because he's saying he is trying to realize his goal by being ranked number one in the WBA. However, seeing as there is no mandatory for the for the belt that is held by by Devin Haney, it would appear that that position would be the number one ranked for Gervonta Davis. But he contradicts himself because he says that he deserves an opportunity to be ranked number one and get another chance, another chance of realizing his goals as soon as possible. And clearly, he says in the first paragraph that, he, that Loma was denied his rightful victory and his lifetime goal of being undisputed champion of the world. So any statements out there that he, Vasily Lomachenko, is looking for a fight with Gervonta Davis, that is not true. What he is looking to do, and I think that this is an interesting strategy, and I do believe that it's probably going to be, I don't know if it's going to be an effective strategy, but it's more uh, effective than filing 
uh, with this with the Nevada State Athletic Commission a petition to overturn the fight, which you know they're going to ball up and throw away, forcing the him to forcing if he's able to to stay ranked number one in all of those divisions will force whoever it is if Devin Haney holds those belts, it would ha- it would force the WBC and the WBA and the IBF to order a rematch, a mandatory title shot for uh, Vasily Lomachenko to rematch that fight. Um, And that is, I do believe, a a more effective means, like I said, of getting that done than asking the Nevada State Athletic Commission to vacate the decision or whatever the term is where you override that determinant, that, 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 a particular decision. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, here's my take on it and what I think about it as far as the fight and the rematch. I definitely believe that a fight that that is that close and is that controversial that you really should not have an issue with a rematch in that particular fight. I think that it is something where it would probably do boxing well to have a rematch in that fight. Now, again, I keep telling people, look, I understand why people who are fans of Devin Haney and really do not like how how Vasily Lomachenko over the course of the years had been given a lot of credit, a lot of opportunities, uh, like an opportunity to fight for a championship in his second fight. He got, you know, fighter of the year one year where Terrence Crawford was an undisputed champion, got the undisputed title and Vasily Lomachenko had only fought one guy in his own weight class at 130. I understand all of that, and I can definitely agree with that because I was just as much irritated by it and put off by it um, at that point in time. This fight with Devin Haney was a close fight. Um, And if he was to get, if they were to go ahead and mandate this and force them to do that again, I don't know if going that route would really be fair either. Because it would be the WBA, the WBC and the IBF saying, OK, we're going to override. We're going to force this fight to take place again uh, and not necessarily respect the decision of the judges in the state of Nevada. Um So it's just an odd situation. However, I did want to clear up because it is out there that that Devin Haney, I mean, so that Vasily Lomachenko was looking to become the mandatory for Gervonta Davis. And that's not true. If you look at the letters and you read the letters, what what he's trying to do is basically surround Devin Haney and have all the sanctioning bodies make Vasily Lomachenko the number one guy so that Lomachenko so that Devin Haney cannot fight anybody else in those sanctioning body rankings and then they want him to order and become the mandatory I think that when you when he sent this to Goberto Mendoza he may say that you know that they're asking for them to mandate the fight for as the number one for uh, Devin Haney, but it definitely is not talking about ordering it, looking to, for a fight with Gervonta Davis, because a fight with Gervonta Davis would not remedy what he is saying, would not remedy what he says he suffered, saying I got I got robbed in a fight with this by Devin Haney, so forced Gervonta Davis to fight me. That I mean, that's just not a very, very, you know, that just doesn't make sense. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.